So as we mentioned, we are waiting for that release of the Democratic memo. Our next guest recently wrote this op-ed titled Obama and the FISA Court. Both of their reputations cannot survive the collusion investigation. Joining me now, James Freeman, Wall Street Journal editorial page assistant editor. Yes. Which, I mean, it, I love the way you lay out your argument. I'm oh, going to let you do it. Well, yeah. we want to know what happened. We want to get that Democratic memo. We want to get more information. But mainly what we want to know is... Is the bar for spying on your political opponent really as low as it appears from the Nunes memo? Yeah. Uh, you basically have a FISA court, as far as we're told, which is signing off on, and uh, you were talking about it earlier, unverified rumors, essentially, that uh, would, would not really pass muster in any kind of professional newsroom. Does, and, does it matter that their response is that was just a teeny sliver of it? Well, the basic idea would be, why do you need it? Yeah. If, uh, if all the other stuff is really great and compelling, why do you bring in Yahoo News? Why do you bring in uh, unverified claims by unnamed Russians? Yeah. In some cases, second and third hand rumors. Uh, why do you need that in the warrant application if all the other stuff is so good? Now, I think people who have submitted these to the court will tell you that you may have that sketchy, unverified stuff but then you pair it with uh, phone or electronic records and it begins to look compelling. But uh, someone who created a lot of presentations for the court uh, said to me that uh, he would not want to face the judge again having yeah. dropped this on, on the judge. And, oh, uh, and that's why I, I would love to hear, and I, I think they should consider, even though this is normally secret, having the judge testify. Because we're not going to get, even if we see some of that transcript uh, Louis Gohmert was talking about, we, I'd love to hear the judge say, here's how I made the decision, and yeah. here's what I think the Justice Department owes me. It, you know, it's interesting to me, too, because so the DNC paid for at least part of this memo that, or dossier right. or whatever that made its way its round. And, and what I would ask the other side is, so is this now fair game? Is it okay if the RNC then in, in the next election in 2018, 2020, like if this is our practice going forward, pays for this kind of research that, that brings in, you know, these different foreign agents and then comes up with something that cannot be verified and then uses it, at least in part, even one teeny percent to get a warrant. Are you okay with the other side doing this? And is this how we're going to operate going forward? Scary. I can't imagine the answer to that question is yes. Yeah, I, thank goodness. I don't think this has ever happened before, uh, as far as we can tell. And How do we so, know? So you're right. And, and I think that's why it's going to be a question now is, if was this process abused by the Obama administration? And if not... We really need to look again at the FISA court because uh, this One or the other. this is basically it, you would think from what we've been told they will allow anything and 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 remember this is not like a normal adversarial court because you're spying on people they don't get a defense lawyer there they don't know you're spying on them so you really rely on the Justice Department to have a high level of integrity the judge has to believe that what they're being told is true that's fascinating. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time, James Freeman. Thanks. Good stuff. Good to be here.